people really get together around an actual problem. In 2004, I was hired by Texas A&M Commerce uh, on a joint position uh, between the Department of Mathematics and the Department of Computer Science. The job description of this one fit pretty exactly what I could offer like a background both in classic English department but then also the computational linguistics and I'm doing a lot of multi-departmental things with people in computer science as in this project. Originally Dr. Sirokov and I started the project as a collaboration between the two of us then we brought in the other uh, participants. The goal is to develop a system of automatic identification of weapons to estimate the level of uh, threat. And by doing so, uh, can provide increased security in situations like monitoring. So if you imagine uh, the scenario in the airport where you have several groups of perpetrators with different types of guns that pose different types of threat, you want to prioritize your resources. You may just have one response team that can go in right now. Where should they go to prevent most of the damage that could be wreaked? The system could alert the authorities automatically without having to have somebody looking at the video who may be falling asleep or not paying attention or distracted. I'm proud to announce here that this is the first weapon ontology uh, in the world. It contains multiple pistols, multiple uh, rifles, multiple uh, machine guns. Linguistics, you know, is a very broad discipline. So there is a specific sub-area uh, of linguistics called computational linguistics, uh, which deals with language from the point of view of computing. Now, within computational linguistics, then there is a sub-area called ontological semantics, which is what, in this particular case, has been applied, which essentially describes the way the world is, and that's what ontology means. And by knowing how the world is, the system that we are designing, but any other uh, system for that matter, can reason about the world. And the type of algorithm that uh, Dr. Surikov and Dr. Arslan use create for each gun its typical contour, and then you can put that contour into your visual hierarchy of guns. Each individual gun is mapped one-to-one -one to its counterpart in the ontological semantic hierarchy, where you find, aha, this is a gun with these properties. So this is all semantic information, very different from the visual information. But together, you can quickly get to the semantic information and then say there's a danger that I see in this image or video. The research is an inherent part of the teaching. In every of the projects I involve with a student, for example, uh, Praveen is working on tracking objects in video clips. I'm working with uh, Professor Shiraka on the object tracking. If I have some weapon and I'm tracking that weapon, I want to know whether that, uh, that is a real weapon or not. We are using Active Counter, uh, developed by the uh, professor, so that our results it can be more reliable and it can track more correctly as compared to other algorithms. It's really important for students to get involved in actual research projects that find applications in the real world, because that means they learn the abilities that are needed in the workplace. Students have been prepared for an actual job, because they have done an actual job, not a class project.